Is this possible? Two continents, separated by a mere 13 kilometers of water, Spain and Morocco, worlds apart yet tantalizingly close. Look closely at the map Point Moroy in Spain and Point Sires in Morocco are separated by a stretch of water known as the Strait of Gibraltar. It's a watery corridor connecting the vast Atlantic Ocean with the Mediterranean Sea. Despite being the seemingly short distance comparable to the drive between San Francisco and Oakland, no bridge or tunnel has ever dared to conquer this gap. The strait, at its deepest, plunges to around 365 meters, a formidable obstacle for any construction project. Over the decades, ambitious proposals have emerged, each promising to link Europe and Africa in a revolutionary way. With today's advanced technology and a world filled with colossal engineering marvels, why does this relatively small feat remain unaccomplished? The Strait of Gibraltar is a maritime chasm, a crucial artery where the lifeblood of global trade courses between the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. A colossal 100,000 vessels annually navigate this perilous passage, a testament to its indispensable role in the world economy. For centuries, visionaries and engineers have been captivated by the tantalizing prospect of bridging this watery divide. A land bridge between Europe and Africa, a feat of human ingenuity that would reshape continents. The economic implications are staggering. Streamlined trade, a tourism bonanza, and a powerful symbol of unity. Yet, despite technological advancements and ambitious proposals, this colossal undertaking remains an elusive dream. The Greeks and Romans, in their mythological worldview, saw the strait as the pillars of Hercules, the world's end. Fast forward to the 20th century, and the dream of a transcontinental link ignited with renewed vigor. Bridges, tunnels. Every conceivable design was floated, only to be dashed against the rocks of technological limitations, political discord, or financial ruin. The 1970s Urum Transport Project promised to be a game-changer, but it too vanished like a mirage. Decades have passed, and still, this monumental challenge stands unconquered. Floating bridges, underwater tunnels, ideas as audacious as they are ambitious, have been met with insurmountable obstacles. So, what is it that continues to thwart this audacious endeavor? Why can't we stitch together the broken geography of our world? What dark forces conspire to keep Europe and Africa apart? The Strait of Gibraltar, a formidable chasm. At its narrowest point, a staggering 365 meters of seawater separate Europe from Africa. Imagine suspending a bridge across that abyss. It's not merely a feat of engineering, it's a battle against the elements. The seabed, a treacherous labyrinth of unstable quater clay, defies stability. To anchor a bridge of such magnitude, we'd need to burrow hundreds of meters into this shifting terrain. It's like trying to build on quicksand. Every meter drilled is a gamble against time and resources, but depth is only half the battle. The strait is a maelstrom, a funnel for the Atlantic's relentless surge into the Mediterranean. These currents are a tidal tempest, an invisible adversary that would batter any construction. Imagine trying to assemble a jigsaw puzzle while caught in a whirlpool. The slightest miscalculation, the mercy of a single wave, could be catastrophic. We're not just building a bridge, we're defying nature. Every bolt, every weld is a testament to human ingenuity, but also a stark reminder of the overwhelming forces against us. Even if we could conquer the formidable challenges of stabilizing the seabed and controlling the relentless currents, the Strait of Gibraltar presents an even more daunting obstacle. Over 100,000 colossal cargo ships and oil tankers navigate these narrow waters annually, demanding a bridge of unprecedented height to accommodate their passage. Such a structure would be a behemoth, introducing a whole new set of engineering nightmares. But the true complexities lie beneath the surface. The strait sits at the volatile junction of the Eurasian and African tectonic plates, a region historically ravaged by earthquakes, like the devastating 1755 Lisbon tremor. 
Constructing a bridge here would be akin to building on a powder keg, requiring cutting-edge materials and unproven engineering techniques. The immense cost and technical hurdles are staggering, casting a long shadow over the feasibility of this ambitious project. A tunnel, an age-old alternative to a bridge, could circumvent the challenges posed by ship traffic in the Strait of Jalter. Yet, this seemingly simple solution is fraught with complexity. Unlike the relatively stable geology of the Channel Tunnel, the Strait Seabed is a treacherous labyrinth of shifting, unstable quater clay. Traditional tunneling methods are thus rendered impractical. A submerged floating tunnel, though offering a potential workaround, faces its own set of daunting hurdles. Powerful currents, collision risks, and immense engineering challenges. Beyond the technical complexities lie formidable political and financial obstacles. The historical tensions between Spain and Morocco, exacerbated by disputes over territories like Ceuta and Mala, cast a long shadow over any potential cooperation. Agreeing on construction, oversight, and revenue sharing would be a monumental task, given the nation's rocky relationship. This perfect storm of technical, engineering, and political challenges has thus far thwarted the realization of a fixed link between Europe and Africa. The Strait of Gibraltar, a strategic choke point, adds a layer of complexity to any infrastructure project. The UK's control of this territory is a contentious issue for Spain, making political navigation a delicate balancing act. The financial burden is equally daunting. Constructing a bridge or tunnel across this waterway is an immensely costly venture, with estimates ranging from $5 billion to a staggering $20 billion. Securing such colossal funds will require substantial investment from both nations and potentially international backers. While the economic promise is alluring, it's far from guaranteed. Governments will demand concrete proof of a substantial return before committing such vast sums. Despite these formidable challenges, advancements in engineering and technology offer a glimmer of hope that this ambitious dream may one day become a reality. The political sands of North Africa and Europe are shifting, creating a potential pathway for unprecedented cooperation. A colossal $25 billion plan, still in its conceptual stages, envisions a physical link bridging the continents, a tunnel or a bridge. This audacious project promises to revolutionize travel, trade, and culture. It's a tantalizing prospect, a behemoth of engineering and diplomacy. Yet, the chasm between aspiration and reality is vast. Can such a monumental undertaking withstand the tempestuous waters of geopolitics, finance, and engineering? The Strait of Gibraltar, a mere 13 kilometers wide, belies the immense challenges that lie ahead. Will this ambitious dream become a symbol of unity or a costly folly? Only time will tell if the world is ready to unite Africa and Europe with such a colossal feat. Spain and Morocco, separated by the Strait of Gibraltar, have been at the forefront of discussions, recognizing the potential economic and geopolitical benefits. However, they also grapple with the immense engineering challenges and the complex political landscape of the region. Germany and France, while supportive of increased cooperation with Africa, have adopted a more measured approach, emphasizing the need for thorough feasibility studies and sustainable development plans. The United States has expressed cautious optimism, while acknowledging the potential for economic growth and stability in both continents, the U.S. government has stressed the importance of addressing underlying issues such as poverty, conflict, and governance in Africa. China, with its growing influence in Africa, has shown interest in the project as a potential extension of its Belt and Road Initiative. Ultimately, the feasibility and desirability of an Africa-Europe link will depend on a complex interplay of factors, including economic viability, technological advancements, political stability, and international cooperation. What are your thoughts on this colossal engineering challenge? Can you envision a solution to this complex construction problem? We're eager to hear your ideas. If this mind-boggling project has captured your interest, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more captivating content. 
Thanks for watching.